Hey, hey, it's Lewis V again, and for this video, I'm gonna be doing a video where I'm thinking, what if the characters have YouTube channels? So I just thought about like, you know, as a YouTuber, booktuber, you name it. Oh, Aquatuber, yep, I didn't forget, y'all came up with that word. So I was like thinking like, what if some of the book characters um, have YouTube channels and what are they going to be? So that's what this video is going to be about. So let's begin. So first is Percy Jackson from the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series and the Heroes of the Olympus written by Rick Ryan Warden. Now I grabbed Son of Neptune because it's the most convenient one to grab. And of course, Percy is here and it talks about the Roman god Neptune, which is of course, you know, relevant to Percy. Now when I thought about Percy, I'm thinking about the waters, aqua, so I'm thinking he's gonna be creating a channel where it's like, um, you know, like a swimming tutorial kind of channel, or it could be a beach um, travel vlog, or it could be, let's just say, um, scuba diving, or it could be about like, you know, um, sea creatures, so, or sea animals, you know, <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm, feel free to comment down below what you would call um, Percy Jackson's channel or what do you think like Percy's gonna name his channel? Next is Desi from I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu. Now Desi like got interested with Korean dramas thanks to her dad and Based on her like description of her character, she's also an aspiring medical student. So I was thinking about three things. Either she's gonna be, you know, filming or uploading videos about Korean drama reviews, or maybe it's gonna be like, you know, one of those like reaction channels and she's gonna be reacting to Korean trailers or Korean teasers. And also because she's an aspiring uh, medical student and I'm thinking like what if you know she's already uh, pursuing her dreams of becoming a doctor. I'm thinking that you know she's gonna be creating those like medical student vlogs where you know or like those study with me as a medicine student so that would be very interesting you know and maybe she's gonna be combining both maybe she will be you know featuring a lot of Korean dramas like The Good Doctor um, and like make reviews about them and how probably she can connect it with her like life or something <laughs> so and feel free to comment down below what do you think will be Desi's channel next would have to be the sisters from sisters by Daniel Steele now each sister has like a different career path and like a different journey in life so what I'm thinking of is going to be like their channel is just going to be like more of a lifestyle kind of vlog, a day in the life or a week in the life of you know one of the characters or a you know maybe a month long kind of like vlog if that makes any sense. So then we get to you know see like different kind of videos from them based on like their career, you know how it's like to be like a blind artist. I was like to work in the fashion industry, in the television, and as you know, in the legal field. It's very interesting. I feel that, you know, it's, it's a channel where you can get like a lot of things and learn a lot of things, which is going to be wonderful. So, yeah, if you've read this book, feel free to comment down below. What do you think will be the channel name of these sisters? Next is Jay from Patron Saints of Nothing, written by Randy Rebuy. Now what I'm thinking based on his character, like prior to him going to the Philippines, he likes to play with video games. And I'm pretty sure that especially with today's context, you know, he has his own like gaming channel. Maybe even does some, you know, some stuff in Twitch, but I'm pretty sure that if he has a YouTube channel, it's going to be more into like gaming and all those like fun game stuff that if you'd like to know how to like get the best tricks in games because I kind of like watch some gaming videos in YouTube but it's more of like of nostalgia of like SNES or PlayStation 1. 
So maybe that would also include, you know, um, the scope of the videos in this channel. So if you have read Pink and Saints of Nothing, what do you think would be Jay's, um, what you call it as a channel name? <laughs> and last for this video, of course, who knows, maybe I might create another video that has something to do with this and the last word of this video would have to be Santiago from The Alchemist. Now, when I thought about his journey, I think he's going to be, you know, um, creating or uploading videos where they're more of like philosophical. Because there are a lot of like philosophical teachings or words that were like spewed here in The Alchemist. So the YouTuber that I'm thinking of that kind of like resembles him, he might get like some sort of inspiration from Nate Pumzalan because a lot of his videos, especially the more recent ones, are more like philosophical. It's gonna make you think about thinking because that's what philosophy is about. And also because the story happens to be set like in Northern Africa, he might even have like North Africa vlogs or like what was his journey like in North Africa. And speaking of, I would like to just like share something. There was this like runner, like Italian runner, who was like running like a marathon during um, like in the Sahara Desert. And he ended up from Morocco going to Algeria. He crossed like that bare Sahara Desert. That's the tough one. <laughs> so yeah, feel free to comment down below. What do you think will be Santiago's channel name? Feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts among these characters, what channels or what content are they going to be uploading if they were, you know, YouTubers or if they have YouTube channels. And, yep, feel free to comment down below some of your favorite characters and like if they were to become a YouTuber, what do you think will their channels be about? So feel free to put it down in the comment section below. And that's about it. If you've made it this far, leave a soccer ball emoji just because I feel like I want y'all to leave a soccer ball emoji. So, yep. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, click that subscribe button and hit that little bell icon somewhere down there to keep yourselves posted about my videos. And I'll also be putting down links and handles of my social media accounts, so feel free to check me out and follow me there as well. As always, thank you super much for watching. Always be thankful and unleash the reader in you. Bye, y'all.